This tutorial is meant to teach you how you can download your Google Sites. This process requires you to use a download tool that you can find at code.google.com slash p slash google dash sites dash liberation. All right, once you navigate to the Google Sites Liberation web page, the first thing you'll need to do is download the tool, which is a Java applet that will run on your PC. So click on the Downloads link. Find the latest version of the Google Sites Import-Export tool. Click on that, and then click on the link to download it. Choose a location to save the tool and click Save. Once it's done downloading, find the tool and launch it. Now, you'll need to fill out all of these fields in order to start your download. The host will always be sites.google.com. The domain will be for students at Leiden, student.leiden212.org. For faculty, it'll just be leiden212.org. For web space, you have to put in the name of the site as it appears in the web address or URL. The easiest way to find that is to go into your email inbox, click on sites, and you should see a list of all of the sites that you have created or that have been shared with you. And you'll notice that there's a web address listed under each one. The last part is the name or the web space that you have to enter into the field. So for example, for my one-to-one -one at Leiden site, I need to use one underscore two underscore one. I could copy that, go back to my tool, and paste it in. You then have the option of including revisions that have been made to your site. You'll be then asked for your Google Apps username and password. Next you have to choose a target directory or a local folder on your machine where you want all of the files to be downloaded to. So I'm going to say choose target directory, go to my documents, and I'm going to create a special folder just for this um, Google site. So I'm going to click on the create new folder tool and call it one to one and with that highlighted I'm going to open it and you'll notice that it puts it in the choose target directory field here next just click export from sites depending on the size of the site this could take a while but you'll notice that it is exporting one page at a time and all of the images and resources that are attached to that site. In the end, you'll end up with a folder that has the entire site contained within it that you can then take with you when you graduate or leave the district. While this is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and go to Oh, well, it's already finished. So at this point, the export is complete and I'm going to hit done. And now if I go into my um, Windows Explorer and go to my documents and go to one to one you'll see that I have in each folder 
all of the web pages and images that I have created as part of the site. They're not going to look exactly like you had them created in your Google account, but they're pretty close. There's the revision history that I chose to download. And all of the images that went along with it. And I've got folders for each one of the sections of the website. So at this point, I can take this entire folder with me and I could either import it into my personal Gmail account or Google Apps account or edit it with another web page editor or do whatever I want. So at this point you can take your entire Google site to go. If you need any personal assistance as always you can stop by the technology office at either campus. Thank you.